In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a multicam edit inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And this video is sponsored by Motion Elements, but more about them later on. So the first job that you want to do inside of Premiere Pro is to just drag all of your clips in. So as you can see, this is camera angle one and this is camera angle two. So what I first want to do is make sure these are synced. So I'm just going to drag this video up onto video layer two and I'm going to drag the audio onto audio layer two. I'm going to hover those over each other like this. Highlight all of those, right click and select synchronize. And you can just go to audio and select mix down or just press one, whatever's there and press OK. And then hopefully Premiere Pro should do a good job at getting those in sync. So as you can see, I'm pulling this funny face here and in this angle as well. So both angles, this is essentially now working. Now, in order to convert this to a multicam sequence, we first need to nest these. So we're just going to highlight everything, right click, and we'll go up to nest. And we can call this multicam or MC for short. Then we're just going to right click on the nested sequence. We'll put multi camera enable. So we're essentially enabling this nested sequence to now be treated as a multi camera sequence. At the moment, we can't see our two angles. We can only see this one angle. And that is because we are viewing the composite video. So if we go to settings, this is the option we are currently selected on. And this is just going to view one track, whereas we want to view everything. So if we go to multi camera, you can see we've got our two angles now available to us. And as you can see, at the moment, we've got this yellow box around camera angle one. And this essentially is just saying that camera angle one is the one that we are viewing. Whereas if I press two on the keyboard, you can see it's changed to yellow. Now, when I go back to composite video, you can see we've selected number two. So this is really intuitive. And once you've got everything synced up, the editing process is actually really easy. So all we're going to do is just going to play from the beginning and we're just going to press buttons on our keyboard. So number one is going to cut to camera angle one and number two is going to cut to camera angle number two. And of course, you can add as many tracks as you like up here. Whenever I'm shooting music videos or I'm shooting a showreel based video where I've got 9, 10, 11, 12 takes of the same track over and over again, this is how I edit them. I get them all synced up. I can view every single angle in one screen. And then when something looks good, I just press the number that's related to it. So if something looks good on camera four, I'll press four and then I'll cut away to camera five, six and carry on. It's a lot easier rather than watching through every single take and finding those perfect moments. So let's go to the very beginning, starting off with camera one and we're just going to press play. There we go. I've looked at this camera, so I press two back to camera one. We press camera angle one. You can see the box has turned red and this is because we are changing the camera angles live. So I've looked back over here, look back to here, the camera angle one. And now that's essentially the whole process done. Now you can see once I've stopped, you can see I've got these cuts in place. And this means you can go ahead and make adjustments. So if we cut to this angle and we didn't want to cut to this angle, we could just press one and it would change it back to a different angle. Or alternatively, if the cut came too late, so you can see I look over now, this is where it should happen. We can just pull this take back, pull this one across. And that's now in time. So if we go back to composite video and we play back from the very beginning, you can see we've got this multi track sequence now created. Before we carry on with this video, let me please just take a second to talk about Motion Elements. Motion Elements is an online platform where you can download Premiere Pro and After Effects templates. You can download presets for Notion. You can download stock video. You can download stock images, music files. There's so much for you to access and so much for you to download. So it's a really powerful website and it's a great tool for us creatives to have. Now, Motion Elements have kindly sponsored this channel. So as a special thank you, they have given you a very kind discount on your first month when you are subscribed to their plan. And as always, you can find the link to this in the description below. Now, back to the video. Now, that is essentially the multi-track editing process complete, but I like to take this a step further. So what I like to do is when I've got static angles like this, I like to improve this by just adding a little bit of digital camera movement. But I can't really do that here because I'd have to add this to the nested sequence and then I'm affecting the quality and it just, it doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the nested sequence. I'm going to select reveal in project. I'm going to double click that to open it. And here I'm just going to right click on the first clip. I'm going to go label and select yellow. Then I'm going to right click the second clip and I'm going to select a different label. So I'm going to go for forest 
And if I had more clips, I would keep working up and give each one a different color. Now, when we go back into our main composition, we're going to highlight the nested sequence that we've worked on, right click, multi camera and flatten. And now you can see camera angle one is yellow, camera angle two is green. So if we pull camera angle two up onto video track two, you can now see all of our camera one shots are on video layer one and all of our camera two shots are on video layer two. So this means if I go to this first video clip, create a brand new keyframe on scale and position, scroll to the end and just do a nice zoom in. We'll move those keyframes to the end and then we'll just copy that, paste that onto every other time that video two is used. Now you can see every time we cut back to it, we've got this nice push in. And we can do the exact same thing on camera one, but we're going to go for a slightly different movement. We'll go for a side to side. Now it's always worth looking for the longest clip when you do this. So I would say it's either the second one or the third one. So if you hover over, it should give you the duration. So duration 617 on this one and this one's 709. So I'm going to do this on the last clip. So on this last clip, I'm going to increase the scale all the way up to around 230 and move this over to the left. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on position, scroll towards the end and move this over. So we've essentially done a slide. Move that keyframe over. Now we're going to copy the motion, command C or control C to copy and then paste command or control V to paste. And we've copied that side to side movement onto all of our camera one shots. So we've got side to side movement on camera one and a push in on camera two. So because we've separated these onto separate layers, it means we can very quickly and easily add these digital camera movements onto all of our individual layers. It just makes this much more dynamic and much more enjoyable to watch. Of course, adding this digital camera movement is not an essential part of the multi-camera editing process, but it's just an extra step that I like to take at the end, especially when I'm doing anything with static cameras. Just adding a little bit of movement just brings the shot to life. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really hope this was useful. And if you did find it useful and you want to check out some more content, then you can do so by clicking this playlist just up here.